Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play How Great Is Our God by Chris Tomlin. Here's how it sounds. That's one part, and then the chorus is... And so it's, that's it. Um, okay, so bottom line is, is there's basically there's three chords in the, ver in the verses and, and in the intro, and then there's four chords in the chorus, okay? The three chords in the verses are C, A minor, and an F. Okay? And then the three chords that are in the chorus, the four chords in the chorus, I'm sorry, are C, a minor, F, G. And that is the entire song. That is the entire song. Three, four chords, okay? Now there's other guitars going on in there too, but just for the acoustic, for the acoustic purposes. All right, all this is a C. Doing it with a C, and when, when I'm doing the C, when, when he does, he goes. And all I'm doing is taking my pointer finger off the second, or the first fret of the B string. And still, and then still be on the C though, see? And then put it right back on. And then you do the exact same thing with the A minor. You do the A minor. And then you take your pointer finger off the first fret of the B string. And do that one extra strum. And then you do the F down here. And what, yeah, that is, a, you can do the bar chord F, but that doesn't work. So you do the F. And you do pretty much the same exact thing, actually. You take your pointer finger off the first fret of the B string. So. See, that's kind of what the whole song kind of revolves around, is that same kind of chord that's just doing that one little change on each one. And so that's on the verse. On the chorus, it does the same thing, except for it just adds the G at the end. So. And you can even go. You could take your, you know, if you, when you're doing the G. I don't know if he does that or not. You could take your pointer finger off the uh, second fret of the A string if you want to have something going, to, 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 you know, to be, you know, symmetric with the rest of the chords. I don't think it really sounds right though. So I, I usually just hit the G without doing that part. So that is the song, my friend. And so what I'm going to show you now is how to play a guitar solo over this if you chose to do that for whatever reasons. Okay? Um, if you want to have some filler time, if the, you know, your audience is you know, messing around and, just, and you want to kill some time, then you can do that. Or if you just want to do it to make it beautiful or give it a little, little something in the middle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and record the loop.
pink I showed you recently, or I just did another video on this yesterday about you know you, how you find out what key you're in, and if it's if it's you find the minor scale, if you find the if you find that the minor scale doesn't work over it, then you go three frets down to the major scale, and that's what I did here. You know, the minor scale part is at C. That sounds terrible. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to get on three frets, and then it should sound good if I do it an Aeolian scale or a pentatonic scale. That's it. You basically do the pentatonic scale on the A, and it works beautifully. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell. And if you have any questions, you know, if you have any questions or comments, please leave or even requests, please leave them in the comments section. That would be great. Uh, thank you so much for watching.